Hello everyone and welcome to a new vlog. I'm Jetska, I'm from the Netherlands and currently living in the Netherlands and I have a boyfriend from Uganda, currently living in Uganda. Today I'm going to visit a friend in Amsterdam and we're gonna do something fun. We are going to an African restaurant. I'm so excited of that because I'm gonna celebrate, well it was to celebrate my 50,000 followers on TikTok, but there are now already 60,000 coming to 70. <laughs> Guys, I love you so much. You don't even know. And I really love sharing cultures and learning from each other's culture. So, wibbling and enjoy the vlog. Hello, hello, I'm back from the running. We are back from the running, I have to say. I'm now already dressed. I'm wearing, uh, not yet my shirt, but this is okay. And Meryl got some food for us. And we got some nice bread, pistolets. Is that the right English word? And some grilled vegetables, I will show you. This is the grilled um, sugini. Sorry, the English word was... Uh, gone and the bell pepper the breads the spreads the plates <gasps> oh and i'm so hungry because in total we run nine kilometer even ten my well it's in between nine and ten because my watch was saying nine meryl's phone was saying ten so come see come see yes we say ten kilometers Let's have some food and then work. And yes, in the evening, we're going to the African restaurant. Okay, guys, I didn't film for a very long time, but we are going to the African restaurant, but we have to go to Amsterdam. We are going to the bus uh, and then take the metro to Amsterdam Southeast to go to the African kitchen. My goodness guys i feel sometimes so stupid i was with the metro to this train station and i was just doing empala empala and then i forgot that i had three minutes to get my train and i missed the train and the next train is in 30 minutes so i have to wait 30 minutes now for my next train home but the food it was not really the Ugandan vibe, but it brought me back a little bit of memories. And there was music that I recognized from Uganda, and like all the African music was there. And I was like, I miss Uganda. Yeah, and when my boyfriend is here, probably next summer, then I really have to go to this place with him to enjoy the food enjoy the music even though it's Nigerian food he has to go here and it was funny though because me and my friend we were the only white people in the place and that's also something what I found funny in Uganda because when I was in Uganda for the first time people were surprised that I saw black people yeah that it wasn't my first time that I saw black people in my life but I'm living in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, we are such a multicultural country. I dare to say that we have all the cultures around the world in our country, like at least one person. We have Chinese people, American people, Australian people, Russian people, Polish people. Everyone is living here. So yeah, I'm really used to that, to the multicultural 
experience multicultural food, multicultural people, everything. So yeah, and especially when you come in certain areas, I don't know why it is like that, but like in some places or areas, some kind of cultures live there. Like you have areas that only people from Africa live and it's not really only you have also mixed cultures but yeah i think maybe it's something human that you try to search for people that you can connect with i don't know but hey since this video was i think really short i want to continue tomorrow so yeah i'm just going to enjoy this train trip and i see you tomorrow There was a lot of rain in the past days in the Netherlands. So from a sunny summer, we went into a rainy one. And although I appreciate the sun more, this rain allows me to do different things, like sewing. I like to sew my own clothes. I've learned this from my mother and from some magazines. But apart from making my own clothes, I like that I can fix them as well. But in the hustle and the bustle of my daily life, it kept being on my to-do list. So it was finally time to fix it now. Okay guys, I have a typical Dutch meal, if you want to know what Dutch eat. It is quite simple, but I spice it a little bit up. It is always some potatoes, this time I have it baked, baked potatoes. Then some mayonnaise, well I think it's kind of Dutch. Always something like meat, but I'm vegan so I do a meat replacer. And fat cheese, and I put some extra sauce on it. But we call it in Dutch an AVG, and it stands for aardappels, potatoes, vlees, meat. G is for greens, groente, vegetables. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this really typical Dutch meal. I'm not a big fan of Dutch food, but this is something I can I can enjoy. But is really typical Dutch, it's stampot and it's kind of katogo. I mean in Uganda you can you know the word katogo and it is for like a mixture of food. In the Netherlands we have stampot, it's also a mixture of food. It's mostly iris potato uh, mixed together with some vegetables so like spinach or um, Kale. Well, you have also hut spot, and that's with iris potatoes, carrots, and onions. And it's always smashed together, and you eat it with a piece of meat. So yeah, I say, enjoy your food. Mm. Okay, guys, before the sun is really going to set, it's now almost half past eight. And I can already see that the day is becoming shorter. But before that happens, I want to end this video. I don't know what I filmed and if you liked it. I hope you liked it. I tried to take you with me to during the weekend. I had a really relaxing Sunday and a really busy Saturday. But it was nice though and I'm thankful. And thanks for watching this video. Please put a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I see you at the next. Bye bye.